Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and I want to talk today about something that I know a lot of us are doing and I want to explain why it's wrong. Who here is thinking things like, oh man, I hate my job. Oh, I hate cancer. Oh, I can't handle my neighbours. I hate them so much. I want to explain what we're doing, which we could change, modify, to create more positivity on the world. Let's go. When we talk about the word H-A-T-E, what we're actually doing is creating that emotional state within us. So if we say something like, man, I hate cancer, my dad died of cancer, per se, as an example, right? What we're doing is we are fueling that negative emotional state. We're fueling that energy to make it more apparent. Why do you think, now this is my personal opinion here, okay, because I'm a bit of a outside-of-the-box thinker, without saying the con and then the spiracy, right? But when we look at the media and look at how many stories they're now doing, have you been checked for bowel cancer? Have you checked for this cancer? Um, this person just died of that cancer. What we're doing is we're creating it so there's more of it. So let's get to the point here. How do we stop this? We don't think about it. Now, I've just, two weeks ago, I did an amazing video with Dylan Brooks, who has, con um, what is his citizen scientist? He's on TikTok, citizen scientist, okay? Go find him if you want to hear my interviews with him because he's doing them as little shorts. But when I was talking to him, I was explaining what's going on with the world and how we are energized beings and we create our thoughts. So when I was diagnosed with brain cancer, brain tumor, and when I was diagnosed with throat cancer, I told myself no. And I'll tell you what I didn't do. I didn't say I hate it because then I would have been creating that negativity around it. So I loved it. I sent it white light. I sent it compassion. I sent it thanks. I am so grateful that I have this condition because now I know I can get rid of it. That's what I said. And if you look at my scans, etc., which I did pull out for Dylan Brooks the other week, in my scans are all my MRIs, X-rays, ultrasounds that shows I had these conditions. And I don't have them now because I fill myself with love. I fill myself with positivity. And most importantly, I emit what I want in the whole world. So when we say something like I H-A-T whatever it is that we H-A-T-E, because I don't really like saying the word, because when we are putting that energy out, we're actually creating that energy within. So every time we talk, every word we say, we are creating that within us. The more we say, oh, I've got to go to the doctors tomorrow, our brain is now thinking, oh, we've got to go to the doctors. So we're going to keep that body in the perpetual state of needing to go to the doctors. The more we say, oh, I don't feel well today, the more we are not feeling well and creating that within us. So the more we put out, you know, think of it like a battery. We've got our negative, positive and neutral, which are the electrons, protons and neurons, right? So the more we are electronic people using our electrons, which, by the way, we get from trees and plants and grounding. So the more we hug our plants and the more we are touching nature, the more we are creating those electrons within us that becomes positive charged energy, okay? So when you're feeling well, go outside, sit near a tree, okay? Don't say you're not feeling well or you H-A-T it. You say, thank you for this and now it's gone. You create what you say. 
And if you look at my website, what do I say on there? The more we learn, the more we know, the more we grow. Because the more we put emphasis into every word of what we want in our world, not just within us, okay? I want ultimate world peace. So how do I create peace? I create positivity within me that doesn't get offended. I don't get judgmental. And I try not to blame people for what goes on. Okay, I'm only human, but I always pick myself up when I do it. So the more we pick ourselves up and the more we say, hang on, Linda, erase those thoughts, start being positive again, the more we're going to rebalance the energy within us. Okay, so think about how you say your words. Okay, I was just talking to a lady this morning. And on Zoom, and she said, oh my God, I've had this condition for 15 years. And I said, hold up, re-go back, watch this again, because she was recording. And I said, you listen to how you said it. I've had this for 15 years. So you're giving yourself consent to have it for another 15 years. So we've got to watch every word we say, okay? Every thought creates energy within us and how are we going to win this spiritual war by no longer saying h-a-t-e okay i try not to say that word at all i just call it the h word okay so if you want to be a loving kind generous compassion supportive best friend to everybody on the planet stop being negative about negative things Start throwing love into it. Be grateful for every bad thing that's happening on the planet because the more we're thankful, the more we're grateful and the more we love everything. Look what I've just got on my face, the biggest smile. Do you think cancer is going to live in this emotional state? Of course I got rid of my cancers because I don't allow my body to be in the frequency or the energy of where those cancers survive okay why do you think they say raise your vibration because illnesses live in lowered vibrational states but when we tune it like a radio and we're tuning to the higher frequencies where that's where happiness that love emotion all resides and as i say to people look at jesus if you believe in him muhammad buddha Mary Teresa, all those famous people who did marvelous work around the world, the prophets, the gods, or whatever you want to call them. They were with all those sick people every day. But when did you see them sick? Because sicknesses do not reside in higher vibrational states. Sure, we get sicknesses, viruses. Look at me, I've been sick in the last two, twice in the last three months. But Sometimes our energy is attached to everything around us. So we are only human, okay? But we can beat this stuff. And the more we use the H word, the more where we are creating it within us. So be careful, guys, of what you're saying. Be aware of what you're saying. And most of all, be most importantly, be persistent with what you want to say. So we do say the right things where we're diligent to get our word across. Okay, so I hope that that's helped us all today. Have a great loving day. I love you all. Stay tuned. More coming soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.